Welcome to Rootstem Gaming, and this is going to be final battle in our little campaign. We've got some Death Watch with Night Support versus Eldar with some super heavy support. Right there guys, right, this is going to be a 2,500 point narrative slash match play game. And what we basically mean by that is we've built the armies to narrative, sorry, to a match play level of 2,500 points. We're going to be using match some match play rules and we're also going to be using some narrative rules. This is an airport attack. I've tried to, I don't know, I've tried to make it look like there's a strip in the middle, but of course there's some debris and everything else has come crashing down on it. And what's going to be happening is basically it's all about objectives. So we've got three objectives on the board. We've got one here right in the center of the elders line. We've got one smack in the center. And then one that Luke can put in my half, which is this, is going to be the elder half of the table. He can put an objective in my half and he's gone and try he's got to be 12 inches away from table edges and 12 inches away from any other objective. He's gone very central with it. Yeah. He's gone very <laughs> central with it. And what's going to happen is I'm going to deploy some units and then of course following the standard rules for if you want in certain units in reserve at least half of my army points wise and unit wise as according to match player rules is going to be on the table and then what's going to happen is Luke's then going to suddenly just turn up within six inches of that board edge and then he has to get across the board but Additional special rules, we are using the reserve rules from narrative game, so any units in reserve can turn up from turn 2 onwards uh, with a dice roll of 3+, plus. so we're not guaranteed if he does keep, he can keep units in reserve, so can I, but we're not guaranteed which units are going to be turning up, and then of course by turn 4, those units will automatically turn, turn up if they're not already on the table. All of Luke's army is basically classed as objective secured. So even if my armies are objective secured in this, he trumps me. The idea is, is to capture at least two of these objectives by the end of the game. It is a random game length, but he can capture it just with one model standing on it. And if I've got everybody else standing on it, I still can't claim that uh, objective. That includes for his knights as well that he's taken. So that's going to be quite interesting since it's the only time I've ever think that knights are able to control an objective when standing on it <laughs> when there's everybody else around them normally that's their downfall right let's take some forces so these are the armies 2500 points each we're going to go into the Eldar first and if you've been following the campaign I've got my two special characters there's a Farseer which is of course the Eldrad and then we've got a Spirit Seer now these have got some additional special rules in the campaign mainly uh, additional points for casting he can have up to three powers i think he can have an additional power as well which i can't really remember but i will bring it up in a second uh and they've got additional abilities like extra toughness and sometimes extra attack depending of course upon what we've given them these will crop up in the game we'll let you know what these are um i've got three units of guardians or oh, with a heavy weapon we've got a rocket a bright lance and a star cannon these are just three 10-man squads of Guardians. They're probably going to be trying to hold the line as best as they possibly can. They are backed up by a Spirit, not Spirit, see a Warlock, a Skyrunner. Well, Warlock on a jet bike. I'm old school. Yeah, yeah. These are not whatever they're called. It's a Warlock on a jet bike. Uh, he's got a singing spear. He's basically leading my second detachment, which I think is an Outrider, the one with Outrider, at least yeah. three fast. fast attack. Yeah. So we've got three units of jet bikes. I know of uh, Skyrunners, but three units of jet bikes. This unit here has two shuriken cannons, shuriken catapult. This unit has three shuriken cannons. And this unit, which is old, look at some of these models. These are proper old. <laughs> uh, these are two shuriken cannons, uh, so shuriken catapults and one shuriken cannon. And two separate vipers, both with shuriken catapults and shuriken cannon. I have a lot of shuriken. shuriken. Which might uh, not really dint the knights. Hopefully the big boys will be dinting the knights. We've got a Cobra, super heavy tank, uh, with spirit stones and a rocket launcher. 
Standard really. Why wouldn't you take Spirit Stones? Why wouldn't you take <laughs> On a Super Heavy. A Scorpion! Now uh, this is what Luke's pretty much panicking about. Yeah. Because if that gets through his shields, that's going to cause a lot of damage. And a slight panic attack. Yeah. Slight panic attack. That's only got a shuriken cannon though. Yeah. Because that's oh, all you got. That's, that's all you got at the time. About, when I got it? that, I got this from Forge World years ago. They sent me in two arms for some reason. Yeah. There we go. And we've got a Wraith Knight. Woohoo! Uh, I know he has a big pointy sword, but the reason he's got that big pointy sword is because it looks cool. Yes. And it doesn't actually have much effect in the game. It's just two Wraith Cannons. I do have to update and maybe get some of these repainted. Um, since oh, quite a few of them have been painted quite a long time ago. Not that lad. He was painted, he was one of the first experiments I did with an airbrush. Oh, uh, but he probably needs a bit of repaint, and I think some of these lads here need a bit of a repaint as well. That's the Elder. Let's take you over to the Death Watch. You right there, Luke? Hello. Yay, he's back for the final game. What are you rocking and rolling today? So uh, we, we brought mostly Death Watch. It's, uh, there's more points of Death Watch, about 1,300 points of Death Watch <laughs> from 1,200 points of Knights. So we've got a Repulsor Executioner. He's been doing pretty well in recent games. Um, I think so, and he died against the Eldar. Yeah, but other games he's done well. <laughs> yeah. The first game I played against you with him, he did very well. Oh yes, he well. did very well. And very then my well. Eldar realised what he can do yeah. and then decided he's not doing it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then we've gone really troop heavy. Um, I want to flood the board and, and get those objectives scored. Yeah. So these three back units are identical. They're two aggressors and five auto bolt rifle intercessors Mario. and sergeants with power fists. So they're pretty mobile. Very mobile. Um, yeah, they can advance uh, and shoot with no penalty. Yep. Uh, lots of power fist attacks. And then these front two units, uh, two aggressors as well, but stalker bolt rifles this time, no power fists. Um, the aggressor gives them the ability to move and shoot with the stalkers with no penalty as well, and advance with no penalty. Or even on heavy weapons. Even on heavy weapons. That Ooh, aggressor buff. That sounds. Uh, that sounds. That sounds wrong, Matt. But uh, well, that, well, <laughs> um, I kind of believe you. Yeah, and the if, he's, if he's wrong, just put a comment down and say Luke's a twat. But <laughs> yes. Um, factually, that's correct. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So we've got a Watchmaster and a Primaris Captain with an auto bolt rifle and power sword. Uh, these guys have lots of special tricks because they were the guys from, yep, the, campaign, guys from the campaign. But we'll talk about those when we get to them because there's lots of things happening there with is. those guys. And then we've got a super heavy detachment with two Crusaders. Yep. Uh, one with uh, rapid fire battle cannon, one with the thermal lance or yep. spear, whichever one that is. Both got the rockets. So uh, yeah, what the rocket got, is there? That's the storm spear. It's the one that's the. Is it the three shot crack rocket one? No, 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 it's, it's the other one. Right, the one the that can shoot units it can't see. Right. Yeah. The, the infantry style. And it's got a Helverin just uh, for a little extra fire support so we can get free CP out of it. Never, never come across a Helverin before. Uh, this will be quite interesting. Yep. Right. We're going to get set up on the board, so when we come in, what I think we'll do is we'll just look at, I'll show you what my deployment looks like, and then we'll come into straight into turn one, show you what uh, Luke has put down, yep. and then uh, we'll crack on with the game. I forgot to mention, I do actually have a unit of Dark Reapers. Uh, there was one aspect warrior squad in this whole army, and that's them. Wow. Right. We've worked it out with units and points. I've got to put at least more than, well, at least 1,250 points on the table, uh, which actually is pretty much nearly all my army except the two big ass super heavies. So we've got a unit of guardians down here. We've got a unit of the dark reapers back here, hopefully hiding. And the farce here is crafty. This monstrosity is trying to hide from down that side. So either forcing Luke to put units down here or not, I'm not sure yet. I've got a unit of jet bikes here. Um, we've got the two Vipers are down here. And of course, we've got a unit of Guardians uh, just behind those crates. Up to, I can deploy up to half on the table. And then another unit of Guardians and two units of bikes plus the Spirits here. Sorry, Spirit Seer and the uh, Warlock Jet Biker. So, this is my deployment. And now it's Luke to set up on the table. He basically, it's his movement phase and all of his units set up at the end of his movement phase within the designated line that I wrote down in the mission, which I can't remember what it was. It was yeah, any of my Battlefield Edges. Right, okay. No, no, I think your Battlefield Edges is just that one. Is it? Yes, it's not uh, halfway up. Right, bear with me a second. Let's have a look at the mission and we'll come in for turn one.
Right, at the end of the movement phase for Luke, because he gets the first turn, we've got a unit going in here. We did uh, forget to mention on camera that the footprint of these buildings are going to count as ruins, so you will get cover if you are in them. Um, another blob of four guys coming down here with the captain. They're uh, pretty much trying to hide from anything that the Elder Army can throw at them. Mainly Reapers and the big lad if he survives this fuselage of fire. I think he'll survive. We've got this guy going down here. He, the tactic, overall tactic is going to be against fast attack. And then his personal one with his um, Warlord trait is going to be against Lords of War. Hence why he's sat there looking straight at him. <laughs> right. Let's do some shooting. Ooh. Right, we're going to be having some shots. We've just measured range. It's just over 30. So anything with 31 and more can shoot it. I'm guessing everything else is shooting that. That's in range. Everything that's in range is, is going to shoot, shoot the Wraith yeah. Knight. Right, I, can't, so I can't see those Guardians in there, really. No. Unless, well, maybe I can, if you count that edge from the window. But still, I think they're not 30 inches. I think they're probably, well, maybe. They might be 30 inches. Are they inches. close? Yeah. Are they? Oh. We have double checked. It's just basically going to be the weapons that can see this. Yeah. Now that I've turned the camera off, I'm going to turn it back on again. Yeah. What are you firing first, sir? So we'll do the four shots from the main cannon into the, okay. into the, the guy. Yeah. Uh, just to explain, we have allowed him to count as minimum. In the old game of second edition, I think, or some other publications, it stated that if you were deployed, you did a minimum move. Correct. So basically, he's done a minimum move to get onto the table, allowing him to be able to yeah. shoot twice. Yeah. So we've got two hits. So two hits. Two rerolls. Two rerolls with the thing. Oh. Both miss. You can't reroll a reroll. So they're gone. No, no. Um, and then, so you have got two hits. What's your strength, sir? Ten. So you're going to need freeze. He gets to reroll the ones. Both have gone through. I cannot stop this minus shot. Four, it's so a minus of four. Two D6. I'm not in D3. cover, even though I'm touching that. It's not a piece of area terrain, it's just line of sight blocking. So 2d6, minimum of three, eight, eight wounds on the Wraith Knight to start with. I don't know to, I don't know to re that. Oh. <laughs> but I've got to get higher than a three. No, I'm not going to do it. No. Right, okay. So he's got a minimum of three, so that's got eight wounds stripped off it to begin with. Heavy bolt was rattling in against the Wraith Knight. Reroll into hit. Okay. Yep. Full house. Uh, full house of hits. Oh, I like that term, full house, nice. Needing fives, sure. rerolling the ones. Wow, he's got three, which will be a minus one. Yep. I'm slowly but surely manoeuvring over to my dice. What I should have done is stopped <laughs> yeah. the camera. But never mind, any fours. I got two, nice. and I've just mocked the turn dice. So I've lost another wound. It's down to 15. So then we've got a twin Icarus. Mm. I know this is going to be hitting on pause. Though. So this is, and you can re roll ones and twos, can't yeah. you, with this That's one? Right. right. Some so that three misses, the ones and twos can be re-rolled, okay. that's all hit, and now he needs, what's your strength? Uh, it's five I believe, no it's four. Actually, so you're going to need sixes, re-rolling ones. Okay. No. Nope. I don't think Next. anything else is in range with that. Because uh, it's 31 inches. 18, 30, 24, yep, yep, right, that's no it. problem. Yep, so, we can move on. Um, so, next unit. Right, we've had a look. One guy from one of the back squads and three guy, four guys. Yep. There's one guy that can't see out of this front squad, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, they're all going to shoot this Viper here. Um, so go ahead then, sir. It's a heavy, but you've got aggressors Please. with you, so you can. Yep. And reroll the ones because of your captain. Yep. Nice one. I'll hit. And they're um, strength four. First to first. It's more than four. Oh. So. <laughs> I can reroll ones. Uh, why can you reroll one? Oh, fast, fast attack. attack. Yes, fine. So that's my brain. Maybe two wounds. Two wounds, we'll check, because I can't remember what toughness here. Minus of two, so I'm going to need fives. No, that's down to four. Down to two, it's a flat two damage for the Stalker rifles. Completely forgot about that. I thought it was just damage one. My brain not kicking in. Oh, yeah, nope. so. No, got no, some no, guys. Plus six ammo. No, because they're the sort of heavy assault ones. Yeah. Well, these guys, yes. Hang on then, let's have a look. So the troops under here have managed to get line of sight to these guys. Now, what rounds are you using, sir? Um, let me just double check range, because if oh, they're more okay. than 24... Twos, I played a command point to give me a four up in one save. Yeah. So go ahead then, sir. Okay, freeze. No rerolls on this one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is. Got one in on two. So they all wound there. That's five, wounds. five wounds. So saves. I've lost three guardians. I've not taken it on the uh, thing, so I've lost three of these lads. Right, so that's going to be the end of this particular turn. Um, so we're going to be going into Eldar turn one. So I've done my movement. We've got units hiding. We've got units moving up. All the ones with dice next to them have ran. They haven't run. They've tried to shuffle. To try and get the star cannon in there. I did a morale test. They passed. Uh, this unit's for, move forward. We've done the psychic phase. They've got conceal and protect on them at the moment. And then, of course, I've got the uh, lovely vipers are moving forward. My viper's going to die, but might as well try and get some shots off while I can. This big lad ran round. Um, he did the tears of Isha. And he actually got an extra three wounds back, so he's back up to 18. And I managed to cast Fortune and Guide. By using, because he can cast three power, the Psyker can cast three powers in this game. And I did Focus Will, which is one of the new ones um, from Wounds of Fortune, but they've errated it, so it's plus two to your tests. Um, I've actually forgot to put a, a run marker next to these lads here. There we go. You alright there? What do you think if you move within 12? Uh, I am within 12. I'm hoping I'm within 12. I don't know if it's worth spending 2 CP to shoot them. Oh, he's got it? something because Luke had to go and put more money on the car. So I had to do my movement phase while I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so. Because I wouldn't. Mm, let's decide. Interested. Right, okay, so we're kind of. Because I've done all the psychic powers and that, I'm letting. We, time warps seem to exist yeah. in this wargaming club. So we're going to let Luke go back and do 2 CP with this. What does that mean? Means I get to shoot you, but a minus one. And is it against any Aladari infantry? Just things that have flight. Ah, so right. So if it would have been my guardians, you wouldn't have been able to do it. Right. But you can do it against. Right. Oh, this is going to work then. Yep. So we'll do the the guys first. Yep. Um, uh, what's the toughness? My toughness is four. Toughness is four. Yes. Uh, okay. So I might use the uh, subtract. Six range and give you a minus two, so that would mean you'd have to be within eighteen, which I mean they are. Okay. Okay. I so wish you'd figured this out before I actually started pressing record. Right then, sir. So, <laughs> so hitting on threes. Go on. No, we're hitting on fours. Not hitting on fours. Because yep. it's minus one, so that three doesn't miss. Yeah, still a good spread. Um, um, weapon strength is four, oh, yeah. and you've not chosen. No. Nope. So it's going to be forced to wound it. Forced to wound re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones because of the tactic. No, wow, that is some good so dice that rolls. Is minus two on all those. Minus two? I thought it just increased it by minus, minus uh, six ammo gives you a plus two AP. What? Right, apparently it is minus two. That's redonkulous. So I'm going to need sixes to save these lads. And they're dead. And they go. Right, so because we're allowing him to time warp, my E would not have been there to support them because you have to do it as soon as they move within range. Correct, yeah. So I would not have gone, oh, I'll put a character close at no. So he has then moved. So apologies for people watching and getting confused. We have time warped and we've put the powers which were cast onto this squad here. Has he still run? He's still, I'm still going to count him as running. It doesn't okay. really matter. Can't charge anything yeah, and yeah. I get no minuses for shooting with yeah, yeah. their weapons anyway. Right. Let's do some shooting then. I'm going to start with the star cannon. He's going to fire. He, they did move. They're going to fire into this infantry up here. So two shots, needing fours. One hit, needing threes to wound. Oh. No wound. And then I've got a shuriken cannon from the big lad on top. That's also firing at that squad. Threes to hit. I re-roll ones because it's a shuriken and I'm bell tan. And that fell off the table. There we go. Threes to wound again. Uh, right, so that's one at minus three and one normal. So, so six up first. Well, it'll be five up because you're in cover, but still yep. failed. Okay. And then two up for that one. Yep. No, so you've lost a wound so far from one of those guys. Yeah, I've done a bit of a boob because what I should have done is fired that first before the shuriken. Because uh, if I do get a kill now, it's just going to take a marine off. But they are going to fire needing a three because they stood still. Needing toughness of a squad, four. four. Needing a two. It's yep. so a minus of four, so because you are in cover, yep. you're in cover, so you're gonna get a six. Oh, <laughs> indeed. Go <Well>, back again. <laughs> no. 
Right, so that one wounded guy is dead. Oh, dear me. Right, I've not got a lot that can actually see. This lad can. So he's going to open fire with his cannon into those over there. That squad, yeah, the closest, closest squad. Uh, Reroll the one. Two hits. One wound. Uh, in fact, what strength for you? Yeah, even if you're oh. toughness five, it's still wounded. So two normal armor saves. Normal armor. Three ups. Yep, three ups. He's not in cover. Oh, oh that'll take a somebody out unless he applies him to the aggressor. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we will with these guys because he's a stalker <laughs> bolt rifle, so I only need one aggressor. Yeah, you only need one aggressor alive. I like that. I'm gonna put it on the aggressor. It needs to be up. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah. Right, and super heavy shooting. Right, two. Heavy Wraith Cannons are going to go into the Tank of Doom. I need freeze to hit. I re-roll hits due to guide. Two hits. Strength is 12. Going to need freeze to wound. I'm going to command point that. Damn it! Two, Two I believe it's minus five, but I'm going to check. It's straight through with it being minus four. 2d6 damage. For Ooh. nine, that's, that's a big hit. And then we'll do the scatter lasers off camera. Right, so he's done, he's knocked him down into the half bracket mark. Uh, knocks him down to five inch moves. Five inch moves, so two and a so, half inch if I want to fight twice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, anyway, uh, it's now going to be Luke's turn two. Uh, before we go into the turn two, let's roll for your reserves, sir. So your melter equipped knight. We'll do it like that. He's on the table. Your Battle cannon equipped knight is on the table. The Helvin or whatever it's called is not on the, on the table. So both big lads at the end of his movement phase will be on the table. So these lads have ran up here. They're taking advantage of the cover, possibly as well some bits of line of sight blocking, but also trying to get some, some line of sights to certain things. These lads have trapped forward, and the knights have turned up, he's come up to go, Oi, what are you doing picking on this tank? And yeah. he's like, whoa, what are you talking about? He shot me first. <laughs> and yeah. then <laughs> the other one has turned up. This is the one with the Endless Fury, which you would have seen at the bottom of the screen. And he's also got the Warlord trait as well, which yeah. gives him a 4 open vulnerable save. So I might have to go and kick him in the shin, if that thing survives. Ooh. Might not do. Well, I just run it into middle stuff just to get destroyed. Yeah. So, <laughs> mortal wounds everywhere. Right. What are you shooting first then, sir? Uh, we'll do the four shots from the tank, but okay. now it's hitting on uh, fours. Yep. Um, I'm guessing you're going to go into this guy here. Yeah, and we'll be obviously using the doctrine for rerolling yeah, yeah, yeah. re one. Yeah. We'll shoot everything he has okay. in there because everything is near enough in range. Yep. Apart from the frag storms, I think they're eight, 18 inch range. Um, two misses so far. So two misses. Uh, re-roll, mate. No, I think I might save that. No, no you re-roll because of your captain. Oh, yes. Yeah, so right, I'll tell you what, how to play you. Oh, do you matter anyway? <laughs> um, okay, right. so freeze. wounds in on freeze. So two wounds. Two wounds, can't save them. Can't save it, so let's see what we get. Oh, six. So six. We'll wear that, it's fine. You're gonna, right, okay, let's see if I can save them. Fortune upon him. And he weathers two of those down, so I only lose four. It's down to 14. Yeah. The rest of the fire that we've done from that unit, including the watch captain, has reduced it down to 13 wounds remaining. So we've got some shots coming up from here. This unit here is going to shoot. Are you just, is everybody shooting the bike? I don't think everyone can see the bike. Well, there's a bit of a line of sight blocking terrain piece there. Mm, <laughs> He's on the second bad. floor. He may have scuppered himself. So we've had a real good look. Uh, one guy and the guy that's firing the Tempest shell can shoot and fire into this. Yep. And then the other three are shooting into this one, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Right. So the Tempest shell first, then, sir. On three. Mm -hmm. Just re-roll that. Yeah, that's... Yep. So it's a hit. So it hits uh, D3 mortals. D3 mortal three. wounds for three. So and that's down to three. Find him will yep. shoot him. Um, I don't think I can use Hellfire on that. Let me just check that. So he's doing the, yeah, he can't use Hellfire ammo, so he's doing the other ammo. Let's re-roll that too, mate. There you go, so he did hit once. He's going to need a five, and he gets to re-roll, no. Um, okay, so. And then, there's an aggressor, the camera can see, isn't there? No, it's, there's 
two aggressors and the um, guy with the white shoulder pad he can see. So all that lot can shoot at these. So him with white shoulder pad, I'm guessing he's got to fire the same rounds as his compatriot down this side. Yes, that that's right, yeah. So we'll check to see if that's within 18. It should be. Uh, but are you going to fire with the aggressors first? Um, it's probably... This one guy, yeah, this one, yeah, he is in range. Yeah. But I'm guessing you're firing the aggressors first. Yeah, there's uh, going to be 12 shots there. So three. Since there's only two wounds left on that, do you want to go first? 12, yeah. So. Is it 12 shots because you've moved? or? There's is it two 12? of them, a six piece. Oh, right, not bad. Yeah. It's a wounded on. Dice there, mate. There you go. Oh, yeah, wounded on. Yeah, well, the toughness is five. Five, yeah, okay. So you're wounding on fives, aren't you? Reroll yeah. on the ones because I'm a fast attack. So Actually, that's just see. three. Three? It's three. enough with any minuses. Uh, not on aggressive, no. Oh! oh it's taking it down. Do it explode? No. Right, so the next step, Luke's going to. We've had a look trying to go through here. Little cars like, can I see? Can I see? Hey, let's see if I get a command point back from a tempest shell. Oh, right, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, he's been clutching at straws. You, <laughs> uh, you was on. No, 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 no. That's you was on, on seven. You did not drop the tempest shell off. Okay. No, so I've not dropped the tempest shell off. So you're back up to seven, and I'll put that exclamation mark on in a minute. Right. So we've had a. He's had a look. Proper good look. We've done it twice. The ones that can see are facing it. The ones that can't see are not facing it. I'm so two he's got two. Points. He's got two squads, and what are you playing two command points on? Um, this squad. Okay. Plus one to wound against it. Right. Okay. Because your weapon strength is only four. Yeah. It's a good idea, that mate. Yeah. So now you're down to five command points, and you can't get this one back because you've just got one back for the tempest Correct. shell that you've just done. Correct. Right. We're going to do this off this camera because this is going to be a hell of a lot of shots. Apologies. We are going to do this on camera because they're the heavy one ones. <laughs> so how many shots, sir? Uh, Fours, uh, four shots hitting yep. on threes, the Iron Ranger captain. And oh. this is the one squad, so this is not these two here, this is just this, this one squad that majority can see. Yeah, on threes, we roll in ones, no ones, so two hits. Um, He's going to need fives because of his special ability. So one one's one. gone through, minus it's two. at minus of two, which goes through, and it's two damage, which only scores one damage. Yep. So that's down now to 12. So grenades are coming in now from the... Is it how many aggressive? Two, right? yeah. two of them. So, so seven, seven shots. These have the exact same profile as the bolt. bolt yeah, so yeah. All together. Um, so you, these are the shots as these well, are the shots right? As well as no the so he's needing freeze. We roll in ones. A few ones in there. Oh yeah, because you were in um, X, Y, and Z, are you captain, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so take Not that. bad. Again. And then all this yeah. lot is going to need five to wound, but no minus. No minus, indeed. So three, four, four five. So five wounds. Five wounds. Three up safe. One gets through. Five up feel no pain. No, that gets through. So it's now down to 11. So we did the two that can see down there off camera. Didn't do anything. These guys can see. Now, what rounds are you picking? Minus two. Right, no problem. They are going to need sixes. So which, which are you doing both squads together? No, I think enough dice. Right, okay. So we'll do this off camera because it's going to be a lot of shots. Yeah. After all that shooting, this poor lad is now down to six wounds remaining. So, endless fury. This unit's now going to go. It's going to fire the melter into the wounded knight. Only six wounds remaining. The endless fury of a heavy stubber is going to fire into the guardians down here. And then the up and over is going to fire into these bikers that are hiding. I am going to spend a command point to give these guys Celestian Shield, giving them a four up invulnerable save. Meaning I am now down to seven command points and Luke is now down to five. These six shots from the Thermal Spear first. Oh. So one, you've not used a reroll yet. No command point. Oh, good six. choice of command point there. He's down to four CP remaining. Have I got one back this battle round? I haven't. You have, mate. Yeah, that's yep. why you've got a, uh, a marker on you. On freeze. Full house. Oh. Wounding on freeze because it's strength nine. It is, yes. Full I get no house, saves. No saves. D6 on each of them. It's got six wounds on it. Yeah, but I've got five up, feel no pain. Oh, right, right. So if you fluff this. You've got that many damage. Ah. Uh, it does exp I've rolled the first six that I rolled, none of them got a five, so he's dead. 
It doesn't explode. Do I command point? Because it would be hilarious. It would be but hilarious. But it's a, it's a big range. So no, I'm not. It's laid low over next shots. D6 rockets, bikes. Three. This can fire indirect. Is there any minus to fire indirect? Uh, it just... No. So two hits. What's the strength? Uh, five, I believe. Uh, Iron Storm is five, yep. Yep. So one, one wound. wound. What's the minus? Uh, minus is one. Hey, what's the damage? Two. I've saved. Hey. And um, then the Gatler. Let's get some dice. Two shots. Heavy 14. He's going to need freeze. Any sixes? Uh, double. Yep. So take those out. So take those so out. Put and you've got extra. two sixes. So you you've got an extra two, two extra hits per. I think it's one extra hit per <laughs> thing because the much. weapon itself doesn't generate extra hits. Uh, so two. yeah, it is two hits. So he's got an extra two hits. So I'll put them back in. It's going to wound on. What strength is it? I believe it's five or six. If it's six, six it's wounding yeah. on twos. Wounding on twos then, sir. No re rolls though. Okay. And so how many is that? It's a lot. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's the same amount of men, that's the same amount of models that's in that squad. So, 11 dice for Celestial Iron Shield. Oh! Not bad at all. I lost three. Wow. That was a good roll. I'll probably not repeat that again for a while, <laughs> but that was a decent roll. Heavy stubbers now. All hit. All hit. Needing freeze. All wound. Same again. Yep. Wow. That really is a shield dome that's just suddenly gone up. So the next night is opening up. Some of the legs can actually see some of the units on the ground. So his Gatler is going against this squad here with the minus one to hit. Yep. The battle cannon is going against the Viper. And his indirect fire shots are going against these lads here. So which one's firing I'm first? Six stubber shots first into them. Oh, six stubber shots first. Yep. Needing fours. Okay, so two. No. And no wounds. Oh, and he keeps. I'm going to move this piece of terrain out in his way in a minute. <laughs> oh. right. Let's roll the dice over here, Luke. Yeah, let's roll the dice over here. Well. So the 12 shot. It's 12, isn't it? It's 12, yeah. 12 shot Gatler needing fours. But then it needs twos to wound. Oh, they're all. No, no, no. Now, it's normally fives. Yep. Five. That's five wounds. It's normally fives. It is two damage, but I have. So it reminds two, it would be seven, but I do have protect on the squad. So do I take it on that, or do I try and take it on the two up save currently? Right, so I'm going to try and take the first lot on the heavy weapons platform. Yep. So that would normally be a three, down to a five, now up to a four because of jinx. But it is two damage. Two damage. So if I do fail this, it will kill it, which kills it. <laughs> so <laughs> that was straight. Though. That was straight off there. There we go. Another four left. Needing sixes. I know, so I lose five models this turn. Alright, so into the bikes. We're going to roll it in here so it doesn't move over terrain. Oh. Four shots. Needing freeze. Oh, poor. But anyway. Oh, wounds. It wounds. Minus of one, so I'm yeah. going to need a five. Oh, no, it's two, two damage, so that will rip apart the shuriken catapults. Rapid fire battle cannon now. 2d6 shots. He's, he's risking it again with a piece of terrain there. Oh, eight. That were a three. Okay, I'm nine, gonna sorry. say nine. Uh, nine. He, he picked those dice up quickly, didn't he, there, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, right, over here, Luke. <laughs> <I'm coming> over <laughs> this, this little bit of space here. Nine. He's gonna need freeze. Okay, take those Couple out. ones. He's now gonna need freeze again, because it's toughness of five and it's strength of eight on a battle cannon. Yep. So that's quite a lot. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, yeah. Might be losing another minus of two, I believe, on a battle cannon. I'm going to need fives. It's D3 damage. And I didn't get enough fives. That's at least four through with a minimum. And it explodes! God damn you! So that explodes with a three inch radius. That takes one more of those guys out. That will conclude the shooting phase. So I'll take those off because it will not really matter. We're going into the assault phase. Now I've lost two Vipers. I've lost nearly a full squad of Guardians and I've lost a big lad. But will my big lads, my massive tanks turn up in this particular battle round? We don't know. Are you doing any charging, sir? Uh, I don't think I can. Nope. So, <laughs> rolling for reserves. Actually, morale. I've lost six. 
they lose another three that would be nine so eight nine so i'll lose another one so one guy's left in that squad and then in this squad they lost three five six seven eight so they're okay apologies it's a, a leadership of seven not eight so they've gone completely and i've lost another one of these guys right this is going to be interesting cobra is not on the table scorpion is on the table that's the one he didn't want to be on the table yes it is because that's the one that's gonna really really hurt my movement phase so a little bit of jimmy in a little bit of moving these guys have moved up done a bit of running and it's mainly he's uh, shifted up there it's mainly down to my psychic phase i've managed to cast jinx on that unit down there i've managed to cast reveal and doom on this unit here and i've also managed to cast fortune and guide on this unit here so spending a couple of command points to do it though doubling some rangers and of course making sure i can cast extra powers it's going to be an interesting one this shooting phase first off is going to be these guys so they're going to use the star swarm missiles against that unit that's been doomed needing freeze to hit that's one miss um strength of the star swarm i believe is five the majority of the toughness is four isn't it so i need freeze with rerolls didn't need it uh so that's five wounds yep. minus of two so you're going to need your armor because you're not classed as being in cover. So you're yep. going to need your fives and it's two damage apiece. Okay, so we'll so two at a time. Two at a time, but he's going to go on the aggressors, I'm guessing. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to put my intercessors. Okay, well, you might as well, if you're going to put my intercessors, you might as well do all five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He loses three. No, I lose one and one's on one wound. No, two it's two apiece. damage apiece, mate. Oh. That's why I said, which ones are you putting them on? Two damage apiece. So that's going to be painful. So now that's, well, at least they're uh, toughness five. Well, at least yeah. it's now toughness five. <laughs> yeah. Shuriken cannons from here. They're going to shoot into the squad that's got the wounded guy. Uh, on, but the aggressor on one. Reroll the ones for shuriken weapons. Looking good. These are not doomed. So I'm needing threes. And any. Oh, we roll that one. Any sixes. Right, that's fine. So you've got three armor saves of three up, and three saves of six. So all the armor saves go through, and two saves. Two saves, minus three, needing sixes. Okay, so... Oh you... my god! <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to try that. All right, okay, I'll put that on a six, and then I'll just do it from... No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that were bad for me. Yeah. I expected a bit more than that open up it's going to have a go at the big meaty wall or the guy of doom destruction i'm going to need a free to hit do you want to do any command points nothing to do no oh you can't increase it better than four plus can you i forgot about that it's a hit i'm going to need a four up to wound it's a wound sir in one save no nope. it's not d6 damage two Yay. he's now down to 22 wounds remaining is that correct Right, so it's the show. I'm hoping it's the show. <laughs> this thing here is spooling up. It's going to hammer that. So I'm targeting you. It will spend a CP. How many CPs is it just for? One. Is it for, just one for just rotate one for a, shields? For a dominant, uh, for a Questorius class. Oh, is it two for the bigger lad? Yeah, three I think now. Oh, no, I think it's always been three. Right, so he's now got a five up in one because of the Jinx. 4d6 shots. I will command point that one. No. It's still it's a one! one. <laughs> God damn it. So the scorpion is opening fire. It needs fours because it doesn't have an ability to stop it from getting a plus one. So basically, I can re-roll ones and twos. And look at how many threes I rolled. Yeah, swine. So four threes there, they're discarded. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I need freeze to wound. Here comes the flurry of ones and twos. Not, sure. eh, not bad. 
Right, so them are going to cause three damage a piece. Yep. That is going to cause six. Okay, so we'll do the four so you've three got damage. Four for your three damage. I mean fives. We'll move these dice before you claim the yours. <laughs> uh, so not. Um, that's nine. That's nine damage through. And what was the? And the other one is straight six damage. So we'll, nope. So that goes through. No, I'm going to come on point. Is there a command point reroll that one? Yes. So Saved it, so it's just right. So you're down to three command points, yep. and it suffered nine points of damage. Right. So I've done nine points of damage to that thing. A couple of points of damage to that thing, yep. and there's a morale to take on them because you lost three. Oh yeah, they lost three in the leadership. Uh, is it eight? The sat eight. veteran sergeants. Yeah, eight. eight. So if you roll six, you could yeah. lose Ooh. one. No, roll that again. Don't count. I dropped it anyway. No. <laughs> Two is fine, and he gets. He would have got to re-roll that. The saving throws on them was ridiculous. Yep. So we are looking at a very, very dominant round for you. Roll to see if your guy comes on, sir. Yes. That's a yes. I, yeah, it was a four. I can see it, just not on the camera. Sorry. So, turn three. So, a bit of shimmying. That's moved to an eighth inch, because... Bo, have you just bought your own line of sight there? No, no, I can see straight through his, under his arm. Under his arm? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I think if you roll a one to hit, you should smack your own guy back. Yeah, shoot him. <laughs> um, right, those guys have moved up to the edge. These guys have moved a bit further forward. He's got another two turns. Well, to try and get up to at least here. I think placement of your second objective might be... Uh, yeah. You might want to put it down further on the line. Uh, these guys are trying to shimmy past each other, a bit like that awkward moment when you're trying to get past guys at a bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, let's move forward, let's not. Yeah. And then this lad has turned up, and he's like, hello, I'm here. So, who are you going to shoot with first then, sir? Uh, we'll shoot the Armager at the Dark Reapers. Armager against the Dark Reapers. 4d3 shots to begin with. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, So, six. 4 shots. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 6 shots. Sorry. Shots. On the freeze. freeze. Okay, one misses. Strength seven. Misses. Toughness is three, so you're going to need uh, twos. Yeah, so that's five wounds. Five wounds. Five saves minus one. Oh no! Three of the Reapers go down. And time warping again for Luke. I'm, I'm going to start putting a limit on how many time warps he can have per game. Yes. He's gone back and declared the heavy stubber into these guys. That's who managed to kill one of the bikers. This unit's going to open fire. The aggressors are actually going to fire into the Warlock, because it is the one of the closest characters. The Stalker Bolts are going to go into this tank, and this tank is going to shimmy, 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 and be minus one to hit. It's rolled to see how many grenades are being fired at this guy. It's eight shots. So we'll do those all together with the... Bolters. Bolters as well. Uh, captain. Mm, yeah. captain is within yeah. six. He can re-roll the ones. Wow, converted Good. all of them to hits. That's bad. This is really, really bad. I am toughness four, though. Toughness four, strength four. So. Let's roll that fruit. No. Yeah, roll that one again. There you go. It's on a rock. Just clear up. That's a Many. lot of wounds. Yeah. So that's what, three, six, nine, eleven. Seven. Oh dear. Eleven saves. One, two, three. <sighs> that would kill him. Have you got any more shots that you declared against him? No, but I've got a lot of other things to shoot. I know you have. I just think it'd be really annoying. Be really uh, annoying. Go on then. I'll try it. Yep. Down to one command point left. And he still died. Damn it. Dog is now slamming into the scorpion. Oh. 36. Uh, yeah, no, I'll have to use plus six to make sure they are in range. Yep. Um, so re rolling the ones? Yep. Okay, so three hits. I believe it's toughness eight, but roll your dice and okay. see what you get. So it's at least definitely one wound. Definitely What's the minus? Uh, the two. So I'm going to hmm, I'm gonna have to check this. Right, so yeah, it's a minus two. We're going to need a five. Saved. Nice. It was two anyway. Mm. Oh, no. No, it was one wound. Yeah, one. Uh, and it's a five up armor save. It has a six up in one because it's counted as moving onto the table. We'll do this unit into that bike. There's two aggressors. Yep. Into uh, I don't think we're going to record that. The aggressors open fire, obliterated him. The stalkers are actually firing at this unit. Minus one to hit, sis, so you're going to need force. 
which I forgot with the last set of stalkers, to be honest. Uh, yep, uh, no so, rerolls. So, no rerolls. Oh. You need a six. Yeah. You need a six. So get the it three. does get the six. It's a minus three because of the rounds that he's using. Yep. So I need a save, which I don't do, and it's two damage, as you say. Flat two, yeah. And I still take two, so this will be down, I believe, to 24. These guys are now opening up. They're going against the Guardians down here. He's doing the plus six range, so it'll be a minus one AP. So he's yep. going to need uh, freeze to hit, no rerolls. Nope. He's going to need freeze to wound, no rerolls. Oh, and you just knock over my metal figures, mate. I don't like it. Yeah, it's only two. <laughs> only two? Only two. Uh, minus one. I'm in cover, so it's plus one, so I need fives. Uh, one falls down. Luke's going to go with his repulsor tank, which is repulsive, to be honest. It's probably going to make my top five dirtiest units of the year. Um, he's going to fire everything into these, except the big cannon. The big cannon, of course, is going into the scorpion. It's going to hit all fives, though. It is, yes, but what are you firing first then, sir? So we'll do the 12 uh, onslaught Gatling. No there. problem. So they need fours, yep. re rolling because of Watchmaster. Because the Watchmaster still within six. Yep. And Luke's just moving his, uh, he's moving his tank forward a little bit using the belly. power of the belly, which gamers tend to have oh. bellies. <laughs> Very rare. Um, yeah, wounding on uh, threes, I guess. Threes of strength five, is it? Yep. Yeah, wounding on threes. No I'm guessing he's declaring yeah, he's Titan. Declaring yeah. yeah. So that will be. Oh, is this just one damage a piece, this? Yep. So minus one, seven. and that's seven saves. Right, so. Gonna go against the heavy weapon team first then. So that's one damage on the heavy weapon. Oh, it's minus one, isn't it? Yep. Oh, but I'm plusing one because I'm in cover. Yep. So that's still a save. No, it isn't. That's gone down. So the heavy weapon's gone down. So I need another. Five, seven, four. Oh no! There's a heavy weapon plus four guardians have been killed. The bullets, the guardians are dead. So four shots then, needing fives to hit, re-rolling the one to three. So the four misses. One hit. One hit, strength of ten. ten. He's gonna need freeze. Fails. Reroll. I use my Lord of Hidden Knowledge reroll. Okay. Um Still fails. Ah! Right. <laughs> okay, so no impact F onto the Scorpion from that tank. Yep. We're going to the next lot of shoots. So this lot's now going to open fire into the Scorpion. Uh, they are increasing the range of their weapons by six, making them a minus one. Decent. Big Knight's going to open fire. The rocket's on top, yep. plus the heavy stubbers are going to go into the last remaining Dark Reaper. Yep. And then everything else, of course, is going to fire into this lad here. So we'll do D6 shots into those Dark Reapers. Yep. Six. Oh, oh Jesus. Three. Oh. Six um, shots. I'm being annihilated now. So freeze. Uh, so two misses. misses. Yep. And then... Strength. Five. Needing freeze. Freeze. So three wounds. Three wounds. Any minuses? Uh, one. Needing freeze to save. One fail. I'm not re-rolling because I've already used it. He's gone. Alright. Big gun firing. D6 shots coming in. For six. six. Good. Needed that, so on Needs force to hit. Two. Two hits. Strength of nine, it needs freeze to wound. It's two wounds. Two wounds. Invulnerable save. Six. No. None. Two D6 damage. For ten. Okay. Right. Save any? Uh, yep, save three. Oh, is it fives? I put fives, mate. No, 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 no. So that's. That's seven wounds. And then the Avenger Gatling, uh, we have checked it's unmodified six rolls of hits to explode. Yep. So it needs fours. So check out all the misses but, first. Yeah, take out all the misses first. And that three, yep. Yeah, that three there as well as a miss. Yep. And then you've got three One, sixes. Two, three, yeah. And now it needs fives to wound me. Oh. Oh. Four. Four. Minus of two, so I'm going to need fives to save and two damage apiece. So I saved one, so that's six damage coming in. Six damage coming in. Saved another one, so that's another five off. So I'm on 12. We can destroy this, and we've just discussed this. If he destroys this scorpion, I've got nothing that can hurt him. 
and it'll be game over. Right, so his storm spears and his stubbers are going to go elsewhere, but we're just going to do a big guns. So 2d6 shots for his big gun. Nine shots with the battle cannon. He's going to need force to hit. No specials, so surprisingly, he's only got four hits there. He needs force to wound. It's only one wound. So only one so far. A save of five, which fails. D3 damage. For two, for one. For one. Which bounces off the fortune. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your Gatler. 12 shots, needing fours. Okay, it's quite a lot of misses. There is actually. Oh, I can't die. Needing fives to wound. Uh, only one. Only one. Fives to save. Nothing. Fives to stop the damage. No, so another two points of damage. It takes this down to ten. So at the end of that one, that one's down to ten wounds remaining. God, do I wish I would have brought my <laughs> spirit, my uh, singing, my wraithbone singer, or whatever it's called. And then knocked two wounds off that one from the shots from that particular night. Does the Cobra turn up? No. We'll play my turn. Yeah. We'll see what I do. Because I'll be honest, if I don't do anything, there's going to be no point playing this game. Right. We've done a little bit of shooting. Them guys came over. They've fired. They've killed one of these guys. I've jinxed and doomed that. I've guided this. Not a lot else. The bright lands from here open fire into the night that didn't do anything. I'm now got the scorpion. He did move an inch to get the six up in vulnerable save. We completely whiffed the last turn because it's two up to hit with this thing, so it would have been freeze. I saw them lovely freeze I got. Would have been a hit. My my fault. But four d6 shots with the main gun. Wow. Fours cannot re-roll the freeze. Oh look, which ones do I roll that I can't re-roll? God damn you. Should have stayed still. Freeze, re-rolls. All of them has gone through, but no sixes. He's on five up in runs. Save. It's, sorry, I think it's four. Four saves. Yes, that's, oh. that's two of them. So six of them. So that's only six has gone through. Six I didn't kill it. Nine. CP left to do machine spirit resurgence next to Even if you wouldn't have um, played rotate iron shields on that, which he did, and he still wouldn't have killed it. No, it wouldn't have. That was terrible. It's not looking good, ladies and gents. My Cobra did not turn up which I really, really needed to lend some additional firepower to this battle and possibly take some hits as well. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I'll be honest. We'll go into turn four. We'll see what the Knights do. And then we'll probably call it there. So this is his movement phase. I'll be honest. If this thing goes... There's no cat in it. There's no, there's no, no chance in hell. I've got no compute. I've got yeah. I've got no command points left. What's this thing doing? Is it just firing everything we'll, into this? We'll just shoot everything at it, and we'll just see what happens. Radio. D six shots on the big gun. Thermal spear. Three. Three shots. Needing freeze to hit. So two hits. Two hits. Freeze to wound. One. Wound. One wound. I do get to save a six because I did shimmy. <laughs> yeah. No. No. D six. 2d6, picking the highest. Picking the highest because of the range. Four. Four, I am down to six wounds remaining on this thing. Oh, it'd be quite fury. amusing if it went up. Yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> endless fury. That's 14 shots. Here. Needing freeze. In fact, yeah, move some dice. Uh, okay, so a few misses. No sixes. Why is oh, it when it comes to this? Six. Oh, one six, sorry. Why is it when it comes down to crunch, you roll crap? <laughs> like, oh, wow, well, look at this. Yeah, one wound. One wound, eh? Huh? I'll move that piece of terrain back. Fives to save. Makes it. 
D6 starter spears, because I just said everything. Yeah. So for two. Two. Um, on three. Uh, one. one. Uh, wound. Minus one. Uh, it's gone through, two and it's damage. two damage. So it's down to four. Christ's sake. Uh, two. Have you still got in fact, we'll check range as well. I think your flamer's in range. That's 8 inch of flamer. It's in range of yeah. the probably. <laughs> Heavy flamer's also in range. So that's a D6 auto yep. hit. For 6? Wow. Oh, really. here we go. Um, needing 5s? Five? 5s, mate, yeah, with a minus of 1. That's just 1. Oh, for God's sake. He's gone through. He's down to 3. Do you know what? <laughs> what we'll shoot next is we'll shoot my captain. Oh, I haven't it. got any command points, so I can't do it, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we'll shoot the next night. Fire back! Oh yeah, four shots. On fours. Rerolling. Two. Oh. <laughs> Need three. Oh, come back. If you roll double one now. Oh, he can't even re-roll because... <laughs> no! I... Why? Why is this die. happening now? You're not going to die. Right, okay, what about this lad? Right, I want to think about it. I'm going to shoot him first. You're going to what? Shoot him, yeah. what, into the, this? Yeah. Right, no 40 problem. 43. 43. Oh, 369. Three, 10. Oh, wow. Freeze to hit. Fuck, who misses? Fives to wound. Seven, I think, yeah. Yeah, toughness eight. None. Oh my god. Well, we'll make it <laughs> Three stubbers, because he's got three stubbers as well, and I've uh, said everything, so two hits. No, nothing. No three. Um, so we Big will this guy. Uh, we'll do his two main guns. Yeah. I'm going to split fire now, because it's going that way. Yeah. Storm, spear, and... Um, missile. Um, yeah, everything stubbers. else into them. Right, no problem. So the big guns, 2d6 shots D6. from the seven. seven average. Oh, hang on. You spent a command point for your movement. Didn't you have to spend another command no, point in another phase? Spent a command point for me, Machine Spirit Resurgence, so on top bracket. Yeah, but I'm sure it's per phase. Yep, he's correct. It is till the end of the turn. He did play one command point for Machine Spirit Resurgence on this. Needing fours. Oh, look. Three wounds. Right. Three. Uh, four, sorry. Four. In fact, I've got three dice in my hand, so it doesn't really matter. Minus two. Oh, look. At least two's gone through. A three's gone through. It's dead. He doesn't explode. This particular game, you dig crap! In previous games, it's done very well. Especially yeah. with the combination of psychic powers. But, that's gone. Those guys are going to go. I've got a fast here and some guardians. I haven't shot any <laughs> Possibly a cobra that would automatically turn up next turn. He hasn't shot any of these. I'm not going to be able to get him off at least two of these objectives. And I have to, have to hold two myself. Yeah. So, with that unit dead, which was quite an amusing unit there, I'm going to call it there. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I'm not quite sure I did. Um, I didn't do hardly any damage at all, and I think, I'll be honest, what did I kill? Four Marines and an aggressor. I did rubbish. Don't get me wrong, I hit some of the super heavies, and but when I just it bounced off, and one at turns as well, one of Luke's squads, which should have lost a couple of guys, he ended up rolling amazing saves on. Uh, I didn't do very well on that one at all. I think some of the terrain hindered both sides from shooting, yeah, but I really didn't uh, concentrate on that properly, if I'm honest. And the campaign ends with a minor victory to Luke. Yay! Winning, winning. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> that was for me that was awful yeah, we're rough, really. uh, maybe I should have put all three super heavies on to start the game with. maybe we but then I think you're... I didn't want to bring my knights on but yeah. actually bringing my knights on that wouldn't be the game because as soon as they came on they just mopped everything up yeah right yeah. and then when mine I think if both mine would have turned up like yours did yeah. I think that one night would have gone down Yeah. and then it would have been a bit of a slugfest of right what's happening yeah. I also think as well that with both knights, with both my tanks turning up, that other tank might have dis disappeared as well. Yeah. 
Oh dear, thanks for watching guys. We don't uh, sugarcoat these or make the games different. We always show you the true dice rolls. Right. Hopefully we will see you in the new year because this is going to be coming out just after Christmas. So we'll see you guys in the new year. Hope you've had a good one. Um, I'm probably not going to have one that just comes out just after the new year because I've got to try and get the games in. The reason I've been on one every two weeks at the moment is simply just trying to get people to play against. It is very difficult over the holiday period. Whereas last year I managed to get a load of games recorded in November. Don't know why, but it ends up for doing me over till Christmas. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. Possibly not more of Luke's nights. Uh, <laughs> and we will we'll see you in 2020.